Hey, how's it going, everybody? Charlie Wilson here, a.k.a. Sinister Charlie. Hey, I did it right. Uh, hi. <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, yeah, so we've got, um, we've got some more giguk. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of anything else to do a video on, and there's a lot of giguk I haven't seen, so. And you guys like them. I like them. We all like them. Um, yeah, so this is Giga, what video is this? Basically, this is Chainsaw Man. And with that, I, I haven't seen, like, the last four episodes. I, I think. Uh, maybe one more I haven't seen, possibly. Um, I think the last one I saw was, uh, when Kobani, like, like, shot those two, or the one guy, cut off his arm and shot the one dude. <laughs> Which, that was pretty cool. But I don't think I've seen anything beyond that. Um... <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, we've got, uh, Gigguk on Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. Alright, everyone's talking about this new Chainsaw Man. Let's see what this show's all about. Woof. <laughs> Alright. Chainsaw Man. Easily the most anticipated new anime to come out all year. And very well done. that we weren't ready for that would come down and grace us, showing us peasants once and for all what good anime is. So, how hard did Chainsaw Man hit when it dropped? Okay, I was going to say, it dropped pretty well. <laughs> I, was like, I, don't, I don't think it was bad at all. Alright, there you go. Yeah, pretty fucking hard. As expected, it's taken over the community by storm, and with all this extra attention the comes the extra community. Scrutiny. After just one episode was out, already all the doubters banded together. Experts and scientists poured in thousands of man hours to collectively construct the perfect critique, confident that their words would be so severe the chainsaw man. I do need to get a uh, Pochita plushie at some point. And fandom would be put in their place, and the whole anime community would see the <coughs> error of their ways. Here's what they came up with. Chainsaw Man fans have still not recovered to this day. But do the haters have a point? Did the anime live up to the expectations? I thought it was really Did good. Did everyone overhype it? What's the deal with Chainsaw Man? Anime fans have been eating good this year. But you know what? They could be eating even better. With our sponsor today, Boxu. Weebs. Alright, sorry. I, I'm sorry, Giga. I have to skip. Your, uh, your ads are entertaining, but I can't, uh, I can't be, uh, listening. But, uh, yeah, go sponsor that or, you know, do the stuff. Uh, also, I have a I have a Patreon where I, I'm watching two anime currently. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. Click the link in the description and use code GIGUP for $15 off your first Boxu order. Thank you very much yeah, to Boxu for that. sponsoring us today. Back to the video. It's no secret that I'm already a big fan of the author, so external factors aside, I was already hyped as hell. Chainsaw Man was meant to be his magnum opus, taking everything he's learned from previous works and perfecting it. Chainsaw Man was meant to be the outlier of Shonen Jump, doing things its own way. Chainsaw Man starts off like a pretty standard shonen. You could be forgiven, sure. getting a slight feeling of deja vu, watching a spunky teenager on the brink of death, making a contract with a death. I, I think, I, I'm sorry to keep pausing it, but I kind of have to. Uh, I have to add my own take. But I, I obviously I was um, hooked, uh, obviously from the dog, from Pachita. But then um, also that that intro is so fucking good, and just the fact that the, every single ending is different, every every outro uh, song is different, and by a couple of bands I actually listened to. Uh, I think there's one Tao or Toe something or other. Yeah, but I would listen. She, there's a lead. She uh, she's a lead. The, the band has like a lead singer, female lead singer. Um, yeah, I've been listening to, to them for like a good year or two. So it's interesting. Devil to gain devil powers only to be picked up by an organization that hunts said devils under the pretense that they can keep an eye on him and won't kill him as long as he's assisting in hunting other devils. Then we find out there's this super strong devil that they have to hunt by looking for his body parts, which is really risky because like any devil who's consumed some of those body parts is a super strong S tier devil and you're like, wait a minute. This is just Jujutsu Kaisen again. But that's where the similarities end. Chainsaw Man is a typical shonen in the... Never seen Jujutsu Kaisen. But I've obviously I've heard and seen good things about it. Uh, I just uh, never... Just, I, 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 I'm only watching uh, more anime now because I have the Patreon. And uh, some people are interested, so... You know. Bam. 
In the same way that Stephen King's It is a children's show about a funny looking clown. It is brutal, disgusting, raw, it is metal as fuck. It pushes the edge of what it even means to be a shonen action show in the first place. You look at some of these scenes, you see what these characters do, and you think, He wouldn't. Term for this again? A broke ass bitch. Due to some unfortunate circumstances, he lives every day just to survive. Here's your Bogeta. Bogeta. A bottom dweller of society. He sold his left eye, a kidney, one of his nuts. Yes, his nuts. Ah! Just to scrape by, living on a slice of bread a day. I mean, good lord, someone get this boy some boxu. <laughs> there you go, boxu. That was. That was a free one for you. But this immediately sets the tone for just what kind of world this is. Naruto, Demon Slayer, My Hero. These are eh, where some pretty hard shit could happen if you lay it out on paper, yet somehow everything you lost me. come out squeaky clean. Tanjiro had almost his entire family brutally murdered, and yet he's still like, oh, I'm going to be a good boy. I'm going to be the best boy. I'm going to empathize with all the demons. I'm going to make the world a good place. Bitch, you saw your mother's bloody corpse. How are you more mentally stable than me remembering I got my tax returns due in two months? Shonen protagonists have always been about preaching that good moral. Work dude, hard, dude, dude. train hard, be a good person, aspire to be something good. Nice Dragon Ball music in there. Isn't. The man's been through hell and just wants to live in mild comfort while copping the casual feel along the way. He doesn't have any grand aspirations. He doesn't want to fight. He wants for to touch he's boobs. Like. He's not the honorable, innocent, safe protagonist we've gotten used to. While Goku is out there being like, sell. I want you to power up to your final form so we can have a fair and honorable fight. Denji's here like, finishing move. Delete bloodline. <laughs> well, that's the thing that. Well, that's the thing that. Well, that's the thing that makes him interesting. Okay, Denji, I think you can stop now. I think you've learned your lesson. Oh, God, Denji, no, this is not uh, the way. Keep going. Denji, God, please, Denji, for the love of God. Well, that's the thing that sets him apart and makes keep him going. interesting. And this is something that's pervasive throughout every single cast Ooh. member in Chain. Got some Parasite Eve music in there. Nice. Chainsaw Man. Wouldn't you agree, Aki? Everyone here stands up from the typical characters Man. you see, and I'm not talking about in the Parasite Eve. anime way. You know, That's a remake they need to do. And you see Par these uh, Parasite Eve 2, like, specifically. Look at me. I'm so quirky. Look at this weird thing I do. Isn't it so weird? Aren't I so weird and quirky? I'm not like other anime characters. And then the super weird quirk turns out to be something like, look at me, I sit funny. People in Chainsaw Man are just actually weird. Like, I don't know, puking in the guy's mouth, and then he swallows uh, you, and then yeah. you try to sleep with him five hours later <laughs> everyone here has a few screws loose but it never comes at the expense of their character all too often in anime we see these characters that are distinguished by their weird quirks and even if they have some depth to them it always comes off as cartoonish the anime-esque bullshit we've all gotten accustomed to and one thing i gotta give props for is despite how batshit insane these guys are they all still feel like people everyone is just broken in some way like they're all missing a different piece to make them normal they're not cartoonish they're just fucking weird and that absolutely works yeah. the dynamics the antics the banter <clears throat> the cast is just so entertaining together like there's a scene where a bunch of devil hunters are trapped in this building possibly for an eternity waiting for death one of them has a panic attack one of them starts freaking out and goes full yandere they're laughing at each other denji falls asleep two of them decide now's the best time to pick up smoking power starts spouting off that she's gonna be prime minister and raise the sales tax to 100 percent and i'm sitting here being like what the Fuck am I watching? Chainsaw Fucking Man be a amazingness. Sick, still work. It's like watching the cast of Always Sunny if they were stars of a show and action show. Are they assholes? Yeah. Would you be friends with them? Probably a bad idea. Is it just hella entertaining to see how they operate in the situations they find themselves in? Yes, bitch. It's all great stuff, even if the structure is a bit reminiscent to previous shonens we've seen. That is until this guy shows up, and that's when things. Uno momento. Continue. Really start revving up. This is the moment when Chainsaw Man really starts showing its true colors. Within the space of 20 minutes, it shifts from first gear straight to fifth gear, looks you dead in the eye, and goes, You stupid bitch, did you really think you knew where this was going? You feel like a dumbass for forgetting the type of world this all takes place in. It is a cruel, ruthless place where your entire life can change in one instance, one bad experience, one unlucky encounter. There are no second chances, and villains aren't fucking around here. And just as you start to think, They're damn, not fooling damn, around, yo. Scary. Makma is then like, fuck. 
Only when you start to fear the bad guys do you see that the good guys are even more terrifying and you don't know what to believe. Who's good? Who's evil? What's really going on? More questions emerge while nothing gets answered and you realize the only thing you really knew is that you didn't know a damn thing. This was the Chainsaw Man I expected. Tatsuki Fujimoto is and never has been a by the books guy. It's like he lulled us into a false sense of security then was like, all right, you've had your fun now. I'm die. Thank you forever. The more episodes I watch, the faster I click on the next episode button and my only gripe is that it feels like we've only just the dude's using a lot of uh the parasite eve music actually that's hmm, it's interesting Begun. 12 episodes feels brazenly short for the story that chainsaw man has set up which begs the question am i just gonna read ahead in the manga no because what i'm doing is watching the anime then reading the manga yeah that's right you heard yeah. that correctly mm -hmm. i'm reading the manga second how's that make yeah. you feel manga readers? i do that it's Doesn't okay uncomfortable it's fine uneasy it's all right maybe i'll mix it up don't worry about maybe it I'll read a few chapters i don't care then let the anime catch up maybe i'll read chapter 70 out of context maybe i'll just translate it all into braille and consume it that way <laughs> yeah i don't know where i was going with this anime is just my medium of choice there's nothing that will replace kensuke ushio's hypnotic mesmerizing soundtrack the stellar animation or the voice acting that bring the chemistry these characters have to life <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. Very nice. And let's see the official Spanish dub. <laughs> what? <laughs> but there are a few manga artists out there like Tatsuki Fujimoto. Uh, that's why I'm learning Spanish. Covered. Yeah, he's a fucking genius, all right? Only so rarely do you find someone who has such mastery of the page. Here is a man who knows how to use manga to its fullest potential, which he does consistently. If you're someone who's never really thought about layout, paneling, or page composition, I implore you to read any one of his works and you'll immediately realize, oh, that's why it matters. Oh. I know this because I never did until I could see how masterfully it could be used. Well, you know. Yeah, I still need to go read some of that after the last gig up. Or you could just watch my other or I one of those uh yeah the and the girl who draws manga I need to I should probably watch that video where I go in depth about it the work he's put into Chainsaw Man the way he uses manga to convey ideas and feelings is something that would be impossible to translate into another medium and so it doesn't but what nuance it loses it makes up for by adding its own the anime takes its own approach in telling the story colors are more muted characters look more realistic it slows everything down not to pad out the runtime but just so you have time to get absorbed into this beautiful world and this has made some of the more dramatic moments hit even harder it doesn't just reference cinema it doesn't just look cinematic it feels cinematic almost as if this is an anime original production not taking its material from a manga i mean just look at something like this Got it. i fucking love how it feels like this devil was just deleted from existence like it's what only an eerie outerworldly creature can do and it was just such a subtle thing that could only be conveyed in anime form it really seems like the team have put so much thought into the visual storytelling there are no lazy camera angles no throwaway shots and instead of trying to replicate what the manga has done they've asked themselves what is something that only we could do they added a two minute scene of aki getting ready in the morning yeah and so beautifully calming <laughs> that gives us a glimpse of who aki is that was never in the Manga. I saw this, this on Twitter and I was like, what the fuck? That absolutely did not need to be done, which shows that someone there gives a shit. And this isn't even mentioning how good of a job they're doing with the animation. When people think good animation, they see a pretty fight scene. They think, oh, <clears throat> now this is good animation. Wait, 10 frames of CG? Unwatchable. But what they can gloss over is that... 17 other minutes of anime in that anime chainsaw man simply looks breathtaking in almost every single frame fight scenes aside there is no reason why walking animation needs to look this yeah. damn smooth or backgrounds look so spectacular or hand-holding scenes should awaken something in me um pretty long <laughs> And you know what? I'll say it. The CG doesn't even look bad. I think the no, it's not that bad. Points is just because of how goddamn spectacular everything else looks. Which experience is better? I don't know. Whatever medium you bloody prefer.
Why not both? You have two separate versions, two separate styles, two separate approaches to telling this fantastic story in a way that utilizes their own medium to its highest potential instead of one trying to emulate the other. And I can't even begin to tell you how rare of an occurrence this is. Which is why it blows my mind when I see complaints that this scene doesn't look exactly how it does in the manga. Or this isn't how the manga depicted this one thing. We have a chocolate cake and a chocolate ice cream in front of us and people are unhappy that it's not the exact same flavor of chocolate and i'm like bro you have a delicious ice cream and cake right in front of you why are you complaining chainsaw man is are very sensitive fan said it would be and it hit the jackpot of having an anime production this good while in no way replacing what the manga has done will these 12 episodes live up to the insane hype people said it would reach no but we already <laughs> knew that so the real question is i mean uh, i thought it did i give it a 9.5 honestly it's up there when the hell are we going to get more of it? Oh god, Denji, please stop! His descendants are already dead! Alright then. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I definitely enjoyed that. Uh, I, I haven't seen the whole thing yet, but from what everybody says, I really need to watch the last four or five episodes. I'm pretty sure it's four. I have to go check. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, there you go. Basically, this is Chainsaw Man. Pretty good. It's a good show. I'd highly recommend it. Uh, if you're talking about good things to come out uh, this year, uh, that's one of them. Or was it last year? No, it was this year, I think. Anyway, whatever, this season. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it. Thanks. Thanks all for Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Please likey and subscribey. And I do have a Patreon. Right now we're watching... Um, what are we watching? Uh, Made in Abyss. That comes out on weekends. And then... Um, um, shit, what's the other one? God damn it. Anyway, you could t I don't remember what it's called. It's got the vampire girl in it. And, uh, yeah, an emo 14-year-old or whatever the hell he is. Uh, yeah, anyway, go to my channel, you figure it out. And, uh, the first, uh, uh every week, uh, the first, uh, every week will come out with an episode that's free. And then that week, uh, the Patreon will come uh, extra episode on Patreon. And then, you know, that'll come out next, the next week for free. So, and, and it's the full reaction, by the way, it's not clipped. So I, I, yeah, I'm just too lazy to edit. Let's be honest. And uh, I, I found a place where I can do that for, um, yeah, so I won't get copyrighted or whatever, or my shit taken down. Yeah, so check that out. I'll put links in the description. Thank you. Um. <laughs>